Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. As part of the effort to combat the opioid epidemic and provide pain relief, Governor Andy Bashir joined lawmakers to sign Senate Bill 47, legalizing medical cannabis in the state of Kentucky. I think it will help them get a medicine that they've needed and used since forever. That just because it's not legal doesn't mean that it's not being used. I think that finally Kentucky's finally changing their outlook on things. Uh, I don't push none of this on anyone. I just tell you from my background and everything that I've been through, it helps me for the most part. It helps me better than any, you know, medicines or anything. And that's the thing about it. I just, I really hope that it helps Eastern Kentucky. You know, Lexington and Louisville are okay because they're bigger, bigger areas. But Eastern Kentucky, we need more things to Eastern Kentucky. The bill establishes a structure to regulate dispensaries, cultivators, practitioners, identification cards, processors, and products. The bill also establishes the authorization process for doctors to recommend the use of medical marijuana. We all need restrictions with medical marijuana. If you don't have restrictions, it's the wild, wild west. Restrictions put everything in black and white. There's no more gray area, as we are called. It is in black and white. It puts everybody on the same playing field and... It looks out for our youngsters. It looks out for people that don't need this stuff. The bill will go into effect January 1st, 2025. Until then, the governor's executive order remains in effect, allowing those suffering from some medical conditions the ability to obtain medical cannabis out of state. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.